The mechanical wonders we call engines are incredible pieces of technology, and they can be altered to do some pretty amazing things. Professional engine builders, such as our readers, are the ones building upon and innovating engines for all kinds of different applications. My name is Greg Jones. I'm the managing editor of Engine Builder Magazine, and this is Building Blocks. In this series, we will take an in-depth look at different engines each month built by a professional engine builder here in North America. This month's engine is a BMW S65 V8 built by Ron Hutter of Hutter Racing Engines. He's in Chardon, Ohio. This BMW S65 was run in the Continental Tire Challenge inside a BMW M3, but is now being used as a SCCA Touring 1 class motor. A customer brought the engine into Hutter Racing Engines worn out and in need of freshening up, which entailed sharpening up everything from new rings and pistons to tightening up the cylinder walls and going over the valve job. Here's Ron himself to give you more detail. Uh, we've come a long ways with the, the, the blocks or alucel, which don't have liners in them. They're just um, an aluminum alloy, and the rings and pistons run right on the aluminum cylinder wall. And we've come a long ways over the last four years that we've been working on these things as far as cylinder wall preparation so that they they have a long life expectancy. When we started out, they were good for like 27 hours running, yeah. and now we've got them up so they're 72 or 3. The new pistons Ron used came from CP Carrillo, and the ring package came from Total Seal piston rings. The bearings came straight from BMW. In addition, the engine features a daily dry sump, which bolts right to the oil pan. Now that the engine's been given a clean bill of health, this BMW S65 V8 will crank out nearly 570 horsepower. And according to Ron, that's thanks to all four cams moving independently. They advance and retard and all that stuff, depending on what you do with the computer, which yields a really flat torque curve and makes good top-end power also because you can move the cams around. This is now one BMW engine that should have no issues beating Porsches and Aston Martins out on the SCCA tracks. Well, that's it for this episode of Building Blocks. If you have an engine that you'd like to feature, please contact me at gjones at babcox.com. Thanks for tuning in.